I'm not so much anymore, but I used to be quite a bit. And if you are, you know that, like, serial killers, like, their murdering sprees generally peak in, like, their 20s and 30s. And if they can make it past that without getting caught, they'll slow down. Mm -hmm. So the fact that this guy doesn't actually start killing people until he's, like, 50 years old is really unusual. That is weird. And, and, you know, I'm always a big proponent of... You know, like, I feel like, I feel like our criminal system has to, should be doing more to try and rehab people and, you know, make, make them able to live in society again. Yeah. And this one story is one that just makes me question that whole thing. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, 100%. You know, you know what I mean? Because this guy spent 18 years in jail and what? Gets out and maybe is able to control himself for a year, but yeah. probably not just in, and then, like, what's the trigger point? Because prior he didn't kill anybody. Yeah, I so don't know. He gets out, and didn't you say like the first incident that he we know he did after he got out of prison is a murder, right? It is. Yeah, it's just like what happened that what triggered this that he's like now I need to kill these people. I don't know. Or maybe the that first incident just ended badly. He accidentally killed a person and then got the, that taste and continued yeah. it. You know? I mean, yeah, granted, it's it's, it's a 10-year-old girl. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it takes a lot of – I mean, I'm, again, I'm sorry for listeners at home. This is a sensitive, sensitive uh, episode. But it doesn't take much for like a 10-year-old girl. After you've already yeah. attacked her, it's not a big jump to killing her. Yeah, I suppose. Um, do, please do not kill 10 year olds, yes. but, but it's, I, I can't imagine it's very hard, but yeah. So I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. It's weird. And yeah. Um, as I, as I had said last time, like I'm on the same page as you on that. I don't think it's beneficial to the person or to society to keep people locked up their whole lives. I don't think that's really what the point of the system should, should be. be. Right. Um, but yes, if there's any, if there's any example that's like, but what about this? this well, guy, this is the guy. Yeah, yeah. This is the guy because uh, based on this record, there is no point that this guy should have ever been out. Yeah. And, and the other thing I find really funny about this, because, you know, you always talk about Wisconsin. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer, Ed Gein, yeah. people like that. It's so funny. I don't think that, I don't think outside of the state of Wisconsin, people know who this guy is. And to I don't me, think so. this guy is just as big of a monster as those two were i mean uh, i would agree i would say he's as big as ed gein Dahmer's hard to top yeah Dahmer's pretty extreme but no i i absolutely i mean but the fact that if he wasn't guy, in prison this entire time like you could not imagine the amount, amount of damage yeah. he would have done yeah you know and in if you look at like Dahmer's history you can see there's periods of time where he's trying to stop. Mm-hmm. Like it, they kind of suggest that he took a period where he's trying to get over whatever. Or this guy doesn't seem like he has any care in the world. He right. is just out there doing week, day after day after day after day. Right. You know, and it's that's really really scary. Oh, he's extremely scary, and it's extremely scary, dude. And like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, why he's not more known outside of Wisconsin, I don't know. But there's even, there's people in Wisconsin that aren't well known. There's, I can't think of his name. That's how not well known (laughs) he is. Um, I think his last name is Van Dyke. But there was a guy who was a serial killer in Milwaukee. But then Dahmer ended up getting caught shortly after he was caught. And suddenly everybody Everybody forgot this guy. This guy forgot about him completely. So they had two big serial killers at one point in time. Yeah. At the same time. At the same time. Yeah. 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 And then there's the other one who came in Milwaukee a little bit later than Dahmer, um, who they now call the North Side Strangler. Mm. And people don't really, I mean, he comes up. He's dead now, too, but he comes up. But I, he didn't get as much coverage. And this is just my opinion. I can't back this up with facts. He didn't get as much coverage because he was black and he was killing oh, in black yeah, neighborhoods. Right. So. Yeah. I, I, that may not be true. That may not be the reason why, but I think that's probably part of the part, reason why. That plays a big role in it, at least. Yeah. Well, and you look at serial killers. Serial killers always need to have, you know, 
Jeffrey Dahmer's eating people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ed Gein's turning people into lampshades. You yeah. know, it's not even about how violent of criminals they are. It's just the weird. It has things, to be the weird thing, thing that, that they're out. doing. Yeah, yeah. And really, yeah. And Ed, Ge- for people who don't know, like Ed Gein, he's he's often lumped into like the serial killer category. He is not a serial killer. Like, he killed he, he like killed four like, people, right? <laughs> at most, yeah. Like I think there's two confirmed. Like, all that nasty lampshade stuff in his house, he got that from digging up graves. Okay. So, like, not that that makes it better. <laughs> like, but. like, please don't do that either. <laughs> but he's not going out there killing people to, to turn them into taxidermy. That is not what he was doing. Right. But, yeah, this is... And, you know, obviously I knew this story going into it, or at least I knew that after part of it. But I had no idea how terrifying of a person this is oh yeah no i neither did i i'm not not gonna lie i didn't know i I would say i didn't know half it i didn't probably even know 10 percent of it yeah because the time that we grew up in the only reason i knew about it growing up is because this guy tackling him in his backyard in combined locks which is like less than 10 miles down the road from where we grew up Mm -hmm. so like that's a big freaking deal. Like, yeah, that was big news, and I like. Yeah, I totally remember it. And I mean, if anybody knows me, I don't watch the news. I don't pay attention to anything. So the fact that I remember it means everybody remembers. Oh yeah, but but this so I'm not. I don't want to give away our ages on here, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, I think he did in the last podcast, so <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, so when he was when he was finally caught, we were both thirteen, mm-hmm. and so yeah, like this is something that's going to go around. Like this is now parents are going to be like, hey, there was this guy in Appleton kidnapping children off of their bikes, Mm -hmm. like, in daylight. Like, I don't remember ever getting a talk from my parents being like, please don't ride your bike. Like, I don't remember remember that. That did not happen. But you can see how that could just, like, chill the entire community. Right? And, And it's so weird because I don't remember there being, like, movements or anything around the time to be like we can't let our kids just run around and do whatever because that's what we did when that's we what, were that's kids. what we did and we th- just went out and we did our thing and we came we just had to be home by a certain time yeah and i don't remember after this happened a period of any sort of hey you know no neither do i you know it was like this happened and it was just done and over with and nothing yeah you know neither do i and it's and it's kind of weird looking back on it now because even though they didn't know who it was until he got caught, I have to assume they were piecing together that these abductions and break-ins could all be connected. Le- connected. And, and they're like, we have a scary monster running around the streets right now. Right. You know, and that's, wow. Back in back in the day when we didn't, uh, when our kids weren't scared of everything <laughs> and our parents didn't care. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I... I hope for everybody, even though, like you said, a lot of people know this story. I don't mm-hmm. think a lot of people know this story at all. <laughs> you know, like yeah, like <laughs> uh, like I, what I knew is that this old guy had kidnapped and killed a few kids. That was the part that I knew. I didn't realize that there was like a thirty-year thing running up to that. Yeah. So did did you just decide you were going to look into this story, or did somebody say, "Oh no, this guy started back in the '60s"? And then you're like, okay, I got to check this story out. I don't here. remember why specifically it came up to do for the podcast. I can tell – I mean, Spanbauer has been on my radar for a very long time for obvious reasons. But I don't remember specifically how it came up in context of the podcast. So I couldn't tell you. I don't know. But was it because of the podcast research that you discovered the 60s thing? Or did you look, just decide to look this up and then you're like, holy crap, this is a – Months. It was probably because of the podcast. Because I can tell you, up until a couple of weeks ago, I did not know this. So, okay, okay. So a lot so, of it, a lot of it did come out of the podcast. podcast. Yeah. So okay, I see what you're saying. Interesting. Wow. So well, I hope for everybody that was a really good story. Because man, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you. So we we did wait a week between the parts to record them. Yep. And I I was telling Mo yesterday that I'm like I'm like man, I can't wait to get to to record tomorrow so I can hear part two of this story. So yeah. So. Yeah, and I encourage people to go. Like I said, this is this story is not hard to find. Most of my stories, I pull out of old news articles, and you can't find them easily unless you know how to look in old news articles and stuff like that. 
this one google it like it there's, there's th- it's known it's a known story and is it's easy to find even the earlier days 